Hey, Charlotte County. This is Charlotte County Cop Watch, and uh, I've got to report on uh, the Punta Gorda Police. Uh, Punta Gorda Police are inside Charlotte County. Charlotte County is a pretty big county here in Florida. And uh, you already know that the uh, YouTube channel is huge because there's so much corruption here in Charlotte County, Florida. And, well, everywhere. Uh, but uh, I did a report on this, and uh, I don't know if it's because of me. Uh, I think it is because of me. But I did a report on this where I found out uh, the Punta Gorda Police Chief, Tom Lewis, by the way, January 3rd, Palm Hyundai, 9.30 in the morning. You can meet him and ask him questions about this. That's the guy right here. Uh, he was made president of the Southwest Florida uh, Police Association. Southwest Florida Police Chiefs Association. Uh, and what's really messed up about this is, I believe this was done in December. <clears throat> and uh, I found out about it from Northport's website and uh, the old police chief's website that he was made uh, the president of this. But, but as you know, what's really messed up about this, and I'll add all the videos to this, is that this is completely insane and proves how corrupt this freaking piece of crap Southwest Florida is. They elected this guy... Chief Tom Lewis, president, even though, uh, let's start with this, in his personnel file and IA reports, we found out that he got divorced, he was pissed, he stalked his ex-wife and all of her friends uh, while on duty, while off duty, he used police to do it, he used the David system, NCIS system, and uh, FCIS, I mean, he went nuts, and he was found guilty of it, they still made him police chief. And then, uh, and then, yeah, they made him president of the Southwest Florida Police Association. And then you got the Lee Cole situation. That's his uh, his guy there that uh, let a dog maul a lady because uh, no light on his lady maul a guy because of no light on her uh, his bicycle. And uh, that's you know you'll see the video of that. That's insane. Uh, and then he didn't fire him. And then after that, uh, since he didn't fire him, uh, that same uh, nutcase Lee Cole that's uh, got something wrong, uh, executed an old lady in a wannabe uh, police class. It's where you pretend to be a cop. Uh, they did a scenario where a uh, bad guy, good guy situation. The bad guy was uh, Lee Cole. He didn't check his gun to make sure he had blanks in it, had real bullets in it, and executed a lady. Shot four of them right into her chest. They got pictures and video. Uh, the police chief is telling me I can never get this. I don't know. We're gonna try hard, man. I want to. I want to see it, man. Because guess what? The police chief was standing right there when it happened. He did not check the gun either. He is held negligible. He is the boss. He should have checked himself. Uh, and then after that, uh, so many people were disgusted at the corruption here at the department. We were getting uh, uh, me and uh, Dave Colbreth from Wink News, a reporter. Uh, we're getting a lot of information that there was memos in the Punta Gorda Police Department where other cops were telling the police chief, Tom Lewis, that Lee Cole was a bad guy and he should get rid of him. And and they charged uh, Wink News hundreds of dollars to get these. I mean, way overcharged. Uh, Wink News can literally take them to court and sue them to hell because they ripped them off on getting these memos. But in the end, they paid it because they knew if they're charging that high, there must be something good in there, and they found it. They were correct. Many people did try to tell Chief Police, Chief of Police Tom Lewis that Lee Cole's a bad guy, and he didn't care. In fact, it was so bad, there, uh, one lady that we think turned, uh, turned in all the stories was uh, with Lee Cole, and it's on a car cam video, when Lee Cole illegally arrested a guy for DUI, it was a bogus arrest, it w it, and uh, and he, they overcharged him big time. The guy was poor, 35 days in jail, and they knew it was bogus, but they pled him down to something just to say that they didn't do anything wrong, which they did do something wrong. It was bogus charge. And the guy went instantly back to Minnesota. He's like, I'm not staying here. And he said it was the most corrupt place he's ever experienced in his entire life. So all of this crap on police chief Tom Lewis and they made him president of the, uh, uh, right here, Chief Tom Lewis elected president of Southwest Florida Police Chiefs. What does that say about uh, Southwest Florida? Holy crap.
disgusting to the max. FBI needs to be here and clean house because apparently uh, this uh, Punta Gorda city managers and council members aren't doing their job either. Uh, uh, with a police force, they can actually hire and fire also. And they're not doing it. Howard Koenig is not doing his job. He should be fired. I've had many people tell me that this guy right here should be charged with negligent homicide because he knew of all this. He could have prevented so much of it at so many different times, and he did not. In fact, Lee Cole is still on paid leave. It's just makes you want to puke, man, how freaking corrupt this place is. But, uh, um... So uh, the link is on the Punta Gorda Facebook page. Uh, remember to you know leave your comments there too. You know saying that this is tyranny, this is nuts, this is insane. Uh, so that's on the Punta Gorda Facebook page, police Facebook page. You can also go to the Southwest Florida Police Chiefs Association page and tell them you guys are freaking smoking crack, dope, and etc. for uh, electing this guy who is a freaking nightmare and is not doing his job. Uh, in fact, actually, uh, I'm looking for it here, and you want to know something that uh, may be there? Are they hiding it too because they know they made a mistake? You know, I didn't look at this before, uh, before I did this video, and wow. As you see here, I don't even see it on their page, so... Uh, apparently they maybe they realized they made a huge mistake uh, so I already did contact them and sent them a message that they are freaking an idiot we're making a video on this <clears throat> and so you guys should go here too and say this this is tyranny man you guys are on some serious freaking crack and uh, Wow yeah call them contact them I'll put emails here you guys see the Facebook page this this is sad. This is disgusting. All new on Wink News at six. The chief has been doing a PR campaign about I'm open, I'm honest, anything you want to talk about. Well, he doesn't want to talk about these other incidents. Um, he didn't release these other incidents until you had to go digging through like a madman to find them. Wink News pushes to get memos from the Punta Gorda Police Department about Lee Cole, the cop who shot 73-year-old Mary Knowlton during a shoot, don't shoot citizens demonstration back in August. These are memos that have never been made public before. And tonight we'll tell you about the memo from an officer who trains other cops witnessing Lee Cole making what she basically calls a wrongful arrest. Wink News investigative reporter Dave Colbreth has the exclusive. This sort of stuff should be unacceptable in any law enforcement agency. He was a one-man wrecking crew in Punta Gorda, and, and nobody tried to stop him. Is he fabricating things? Is he making things up just to make the arrest? Three longtime Charlotte County attorneys, all who have also been prosecutors in their career, read this memo about an arrest made by Lee Cole, which the Punta Gorda police never released until Wink News spent a great deal of effort and hundreds of dollars. Just shows that the Punta Gorda Police Department was hiding this stuff. Every, every news agency in the country was asking for these type of documents. The memo really hit home for Steve Leskovich because it was about his client, Jacob Hill. You always hear about corruption, but then to actually read it and know that it happens to someone you know is actually quite disheartening. On June 23, 2015, Officer Bonnie Buckaloo sent this memo to the Punta Gorda Police Administrators. They knew roughly eight hours after this arrest. Buckaloo, along with another officer, came upon Lee Cole, who had pulled Hill over for driving the wrong way on this one-way street. First, Cole had his dog sniff around the vehicle for drugs, but it did not detect any. After that, Cole said that he was changing hats and now going to try for a DUI. He's fishing for something. Buckaloo also wrote that Cole did not ask any of the related DUI questions and that she did not observe anything that would indicate an impaired driver. Falling over, stumbling, no odor of alcohol, no bloodshot, watery eyes. None of that information is written anywhere in any of the reports. Buckaloo summed it up by writing that Cole performed the requested sobriety exercises without any notable concerns and that he probably should not have been placed under arrest. It's shocking to read 
an officer's report that says another officer was seeking or finding a reason to make an arrest. Why is he even arrested? Apparently, that's also what people in the state attorney's office wondered because Wink News obtained these documents from them where a prosecutor writes, I do not see how there was enough for a DUI arrest. And if that's out, then there's no probable cause to search. I, I would bet a thousand bucks. The state attorney had no idea that there was another officer on scene who believes that this was a false arrest. So the state attorney's office started playing let's make a deal and said it would drop five of the seven charges, including two felonies and the DUI. DUI getting dropped almost never. I mean, it is a very, very rare circumstance. I can count on one hand how many times a DUI has been dismissed prior to charges being filed. This is one of them. When the state attorney's office offered to drop most of the charges, Jacob Hill pled to minor possession of weed and got out of jail immediately. He pled to those because he was in jail for 35 days and he needed to get out. Who's not going to take that? Wink News talked to Jacob Hill, who lost his driver's license for a whole year, his apartment, and his job. And now when he's looking for employment, what shows up on his background? A DUI. Who the heck's going to hire somebody with that kind of record? So, what did the Punta police do about this memo? It said it was successfully prosecuted with the means of a plea. And I have to tell you this, any department that defines this as a successful prosecution, they should all resign. Without asking, the Punta police also gave us emails saying things like, Buckaloo seems to have an obvious dislike for Lee Cole, stating to other officers that she refuses to acknowledge him or back him up on traffic stops. She's one of their current own. She's part of the blue line. You don't cross it. She crossed it. Would he have taken that plea had you known about this email, this memo? Absolutely not. When I talked with Jacob Hill, he said he came down here because he's a roofer and needed to work year-round. Well, after all this, he said no one would hire him, so he had to go back to northern Minnesota, and he said, try making a living there doing roofing in the winter. When we asked the Punta Gorda police for an interview, we were told the chief will not be providing an interview on the memo you referenced, continuing the public discussion of Officer Cole's work product prior to the conclusion of both FDLE's investigation and our own internal investigation is unfair and possibly improper on our end. That memo, as well as last night's story regarding those other memos, are on our website at winknews.com. Dave Colberth, Wink News Now. I think that that was a, a sign of just arrogance. I mean, you don't, you don't need to double and triple check yourself. You don't need to have other people double and triple check you. You, you. you don't have to have a procedure in place. You don't have to make sure. Like, all of those things just make me sick to my stomach. On August 9th, three dozen people watched as a Punta Gorda police officer shot and killed a woman during a Citizens Academy demonstration. Officer Lee Coles still on paid administrative leave after the death of 73-year-old Mary Knowlton. But could it have been prevented? Tonight, only Wink News has memos that were not in Coles' personnel file. After weeks of requests and hundreds of dollars spent, Punta Gorda police finally gave us those memos with allegations of bad arrests, insubordination, and policy violation. Wink News investigative reporter Dave Colbreth has the details. Nobody should be running around this town with a gun and a badge with, with these type of allegations against them. No self-respecting law enforcement agency that I've ever encountered should be tolerating this kind of behavior. Those are two longtime Charlotte County attorneys. Both of them were shocked when I showed them these memos obtained by Wink News after the Punta Gorda police fought hard to prevent us from getting them. Just shows that the Punta Gorda Police Department was hiding this stuff. Every, every news agency in the country was asking for these type of documents. These new memos show Lee Cole's problems with the Punta Gorda police. But Cole's problems started in his rookie year with the Miramar police, where he was involved in two internal affairs investigations. This one, where he yanked a man out of the back of his cruiser. After just one year, Cole was forced to resign. He then applied for jobs at over two dozen police agencies near Miami. Wink News obtained Cole's application files from most of them who turned him down. So he then redirected his efforts to southwest Florida, where the only agency interested in him was Punta Gorda. 
It was a year after he left Miramar when Cole was hired by Punta Gorda. Miramar got it right. The other 25 police departments that refused to hire him got it right. Punta Gorda got it wrong. Cole's personnel file with the Punta Gorda police shows many positive things he's done. But then there's these newly obtained memos that were not in his personnel file. When you hire somebody that was uh, asked to resign from a different police force, they should be on thin ice. The first incident, Wink News discovered, is depicted in this memo. It was February 4th, 2015, when Cole accidentally discharged his taser at home. He was never disciplined. To have an officer um, not check his taser before he does a spark test, that is... Barney Fife stuff. On October 23rd, 2015, a supervisor, Thomas Keegan, wrote this memo saying Cole was insubordinate to him and questioned his authority. I think that him being insubordinate to um, his lieutenant is, seems to, to kind of go along with all of the other misconduct that he's alleged to have engaged in because, you know, each one of those is kind of him being arrogant. Then exactly one week later, Cole saw a man riding his bicycle at night without a light. The man wouldn't stop, so Cole sicked his dog on him. But Wink News has now learned from this email that there was what was called a community initiative in place, where officers were supposed to give warnings and free bicycle lights to people instead of arresting them. The Punta Gorda police ultimately settled with the man for $60,000 and over $120,000 worth of medical bills were written off by a hospital. The Punta Gorda police also hired an expert who determined that Cole did not do anything wrong. I don't care what they say, you know, him allowing that dog to rip the chest wall out of a man who was uh, driving without lights on a bicycle, that, that's insanity. The dog bite issue got attention around the world and Cole said he was receiving death threats. So he improperly accessed the state computer system to remove his name from public records. He got a slap on the wrist from Chief Tom Lewis who ironically illegally accessed the same system himself five years earlier and got suspended. As an attorney, I mean, the Florida bar would, would, be, would be smacking me around something fierce because you can't just engage in constant misconduct. He's got five or six incidents of serious misconduct. He's still a cop. We asked Punta Gorda police officials for an interview about this story, and we were told, quote, the chief will not be providing an interview on the memos you referenced. Continuing the public discussion of Officer Cole's work product prior to the conclusion of both FDLE's investigation and our own internal investigation is unfair and possibly improper on our end. Now, after all of that, that's not the most egregious things these attorneys say Lee Cole has done. That involved a wrongful arrest. We'll have that tomorrow night in part two of this story. Dave Colberth, Wink News Now.
these drugs and stuff like the German jails, they would have, we got seven, I'm a Canadian originally, we got seven times hey, more. Andrew, will, you, will you do me a favor? What's that? If you want to record me, I have no problem. Right. Um, yeah. But this is not a public building. Uh, last time we were here, we already discussed it. Uh, they said we could. But there are other people here that may not know that you're recording them. Okay. Last time I was here, they asked, I asked if I could record. They said yes. I have no problem with it. Right. I believe the facility is probably in the same mindset as they yep. were last time. But just out of common courtesy, let people know they're being recorded, please. You're being recorded. Well, we, everybody's here. You have to let them know, too. Are you running? Uh, he, he doesn't answer questions. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> you just did. You 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 Anyway, good. You from Fort your friend of Gordon? Oh, did you did you move him yet? So am I. Now tell me he was Canadian. This is John Sirkan, this is Ian. This is the guy that's uh, doing all the filming going for public records requests and stuff. Oh. They like him they like him so much they trespassed. <laughs> they do. I'm very popular. I, I, what was the what was the latest video on that? <laughs> Oh, uh, Jim Mello was trespassing from a real estate office for causing a disturbance in there. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but the only record you got was 2015. Hey, that was the one? Yeah. Oh. But they were giving the other guy like a hard time about getting out of the record, so you know, I had to go down there and straighten those things out with him. Yeah. Hey, hey, Tom, and by the way, we try to get L.A. Daniels and the, and the black people to come today. I'm totally serious. Totally serious. I said, let's meet here and have a conversation. It's a shame. It is. So. The meeting is canceled. Maybe next month. Can be same time, same place? The meeting's canceled? Yes, sir. Why? <laughs> we're, 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 we're the community. back from the Trady Woods community. We can't. Uh, we, we can't be a part of it. <laughs> you remember the Trade Woods Committee? No. Oh my God. That's he that's a good point. <laughs> you got your number. You man. just told me it's, 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 it's a meeting to discuss in the community, and now it's canceled. Yeah. Wow. But seriously, I really appreciate you, gentlemen. No, but you told me a few minutes ago it's here to discuss a community discussion meeting, and now it's canceled. Meeting's canceled, yes, sir. Because I thought it was a community discussion meeting. That's no. what you told me a few minutes ago. Yeah, we're members of the community. We'd like to be heard. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming. When will uh, Cole uh, face justice? <laughs> will Officer Cole ever face justice, Mr. Lewis? <laughs> That's a great point. Ask again. Will Officer Cole ever face justice, Chief Lewis? What about Officer... What, what about Tom Lewis? Lewis? Oh, what do you want to do? Go for coffee? This is, let's not waste the time. This is a I can't. I'm shocked too, man. He just told me that you're going to have a meeting, right? It's, and I says, "What is it about?" And he says, "It's just a community to discuss things in the community." Right. He wasn't specific on which community, though. Yeah. Yeah. That. Well, that. No, crazy. But he said community. Exactly. I says, "What is it?" You know about. And I says, well, that's great. That's what we should have. <laughs> <laughs> hey, work. Okay. I mean, you know, once they've got their mind made up. All right, so what do you want to do? Let's not waste this. You want to do coffee somewhere or what? Sure. <laughs> Harry, where's the, closest, this? where's the closest place for coffee? We could have just used this community center. We don't have to have anybody here. I, I can't. That's what I can't figure out. This is a public place. Mm -hmm. Why do we, you, you don't even need any kind of permission to write? I don't understand that. At he all. he's supposedly saying I do have the right to film, but I'm supposed to let everybody know. Uh, don't believe that's true in Florida.
God we trust part. I'd like to find out what God they're talking about. That is true. What can we trust in God? So Ian, let's go, let's not waste it. Let's do coffee somewhere. Wait. All right, let's. So John, you want to do coffee somewhere then? Where's the closest? I hey, I'm shocked too. Totally shocked. I'm totally shocked, man. So what do you want? You want to follow us or? Yeah, I'll follow you. All right, we're down here. I'm in the white convertible. Okay, I'll follow you. What do you want to go for coffee? Let's not waste it. Whatever you decide to serve coffee. Man, I'm just easy to get out with, man. He just he just shut the meeting down. He said we're, we're not from the community, so he canceled it. <laughs> so let's let's not waste it. You want to do? Let's do coffee somewhere. I give it about two or three minutes. These two just showed up for the meeting. I know. Well, now, now two black people just showed up from the community, so are they going to have a meeting? <laughs> I know, that's, that's why he said, uh, maybe wait a minute. Oh, have you ever seen anything like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. Are you here for the meeting? Are you here for the meeting? If we got, I think we got a meeting, man. We got another one. Yep. Your door. Okay, he still canceled it. All right, hey. All right, can I give you my card then? Hey, the, the reason why I showed up and the reason why he's freaking out, I, uh, I unfortunately experienced the corruption here myself. So three years ago, I started Charlotte County Cop Watch. I was the guy that was in the newspaper and all three channels where they illegally looked me up on the David system. Not to bring me followers, but to do bad things because I'm exposing the corruption here. So that's why I think he just, I'm shocked. He shut it down. So we, we need cops. You know we need cops. I know we need cops. Just we, we're trying to show people that we're here. You can hold them accountable. You can, you know, you can do different things. You know what I mean? Is there a way to give me my business card? Sure. All right. So in three years, by the grace of God, I'm a Christian. Uh, the YouTube channel went nuts. 40 million views. 38,000 subscribers. Uh, in fact, I'll even give you my regular card. So I'm sorry that he did this. We're, we're, we seriously are here. We need police. But we're, you know, we, we're just to, here to let you guys know that we're here if you ever have, you know, if you ever need any help, you know, investigating anything or if you need a story put out because internal investigations won't do anything. Um, I, we were the ones that helped break the dog mall story. Uh, we're also the ones that did, uh, in Collier County, uh, Seven Sheriffs beat the crap out of a white guy. He was in the hospital for three days. We broke that story. So, we, re we really are trying. Okay. We're trying to help. And sorry that it shut. We were shocked that he just killed it like this. Okay. So, what was your name? Reverend Brown. Reverend Brown. Please get a hold of me, man. Do you, do you guys got a card? I'm shocked. I really, really am. He, he, this, this guy right here, John Sirkan, he helped the uh, homeless over in Charlotte County. So he's going to let you guys know that he's here too, so he helps people there. In fact, you know what's crazy? He's the one that the guy that supposedly got away from the sheriff at the water and hung himself, that's the landlord. He knows the guy. This wouldn't have happened. Like the guy said, he knew the guy. He didn't hang himself. You know what I mean? 65. Say, hey, man. So, anyways, I'm sorry that it bombed out. Right. Oh, oh, are we filming?
Yeah, he was supposed to be. That's what I told him. So why don't you want to do that? Oh, Daniel. Do you not value our opinion? All right. Is Officer Cole ever going to face justice, Mr. Lewis? Why, who are you with? Just a regular person? That's fine. I don't answer questions. Yeah. I'm a regular person. Right. <laughs> hey, Andrew, I wanted to meet David. This is Dick's friend. Okay. Andrew, who are you? A regular Andy. person? Uh, no, I actually am. I'm not a regular person. Aye, aye, careful. <laughs> careful. <laughs> hey, get a hey let's card. not waste this. Let's do coffee. What's the closest thing to here for coffee? Here's my card. Because Sir Can's here and everything. You didn't even get to meet him. He helps the homeless in Fort Charlotte. Oh, okay. How you doing? Hi. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. Okay, where's the closest place for coffee? See you later, man. I'm short meeting. Sorry, I'm not sure. Let's go over here and we'll all talk. Are right, you down? We're going we're gonna to discuss over here what, what we're going to do. But be careful for those bike racks. You almost got it. <laughs>